Hello, my name is Rafi Garbedian. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at First Solar. I'm going to be speaking to you about why solar is becoming a mainstream energy source. There are many, many attributes of solar energy that make it a preferred energy source in countries around the world. These can include uh, its insensitivity to fuel price volatility, among other attributes. But the primary reason why solar energy is penetrating and becoming a practical energy source in grids around the world is that it's cost effective. Fundamentally, solar energy has the capability to become less expensive than thermal generation. The chart you see here from Lazard Capital shows the levelized cost of electricity for different generation sources. And as you can see here, utility scale solar in particular has come down to a levelized cost of electricity that's competitive with gas peaking, coal, and combined cycle in new builds. It is because of this cost competitiveness of solar that is being adopted at a very rapid rate, not only in the United States, but all around the world. Uh, from this data from the SEIA, you can see in each of the last two years, 2013 and 2014, PV has represented roughly 30% of new capacity additions in the U.S. A tremendous achievement for a technology that was just niche just a few years ago. Looking at the cumulative annual growth rate of U.S. PV adoption, you can see that we've grown over 50% per year since 2010. A tremendous achievement for our industry. And that growth has largely been driven by utility scale applications solar PV power plants greater than one megawatt in size. Topaz Solar Farm is a great example of utility scale solar in the U.S. This is one of the largest solar plants in the world and it has an AC capacity of 550 megawatts. This plant is located in sunny San Luis Obispo County in California. It was constructed from 2011 to 2015 and it occupies roughly 7,500 acres. Nine million modules were installed at this site. What's interesting to note is that the peak capacity of this plant is roughly equivalent to the peak capacity of 135,000 typical residential solar systems. Uh, that's equivalent to electrifying with solar every house in Sacramento, California. More and more, we're seeing large commercial consumers of energy procuring solar power for its various attributes. Commercial consumers value the sustainability attributes of solar electricity. But sustainability alone is not driving adoption, but they're also buying solar electricity because it's good business. Solar energy, either procured through power purchase agreements or through direct acquisition of systems, provide a stable, long-term cost structure for energy that's not subject to fuel price volatility, that supports sustainability goals of large multinational corporations, and ultimately provides lower cost to energy that drives a better bottom line. And their interest in solar is not only driven by sustainability goals, but it's driven by their bottom line. Cost effectiveness is the primary reason for adoption of PV. We are now cost effective, and that is driving growth.